Hey everyone, Mike here with another Heroes and Bosses painting video. This time I'll be speed painting the Divine Altars from Black Rose Wars. These altars are far from perfect, so I'm going to start off with some super quick gap filling using Liquitex Matte Varnish. If you're unlucky and you have some big gaps, you might end up using green stuff or model putty, but for narrow or noticeable gaps you can use Liquitex. I've used this on a lot of models in the past. You just put some undiluted matte varnish onto the gaps and it seals them up pretty well. You can't do this with all matte varnishes. In fact, this is the only one that's ever worked for me due to how viscous it is. If you're just painting these up for your game board, you can of course just skip this step entirely. Next I'm mounting all of the altars onto bottle caps and I'm priming them all with Corax White Spray Primer. After those have had some time to dry, I'm moving on to the main color, which is going to be Basilicanum Grey. This is a contrast paint, one of two that I own, but it's a great color for some quick and easy grey stone. So you can see I'm completely smothering this thing with a contrast paint, starting at the top. Then I'm double checking everywhere to make sure I didn't miss any spots, though inevitably when you're doing a bunch of minis at once, something's going to get missed. I'm covering the entire miniature with this, even the flowers and the vines, and then I'm going back with a damp brush and mopping up any areas where there's heavy pooling of the paint. Once that's completely dry, I'm switching to Althuan Grey. I'm going to use this for a light dry brush of the entire miniature, though if any spots are hard to reach, I'm just leaving them. If they're that hard to get, they're likely in a shadowy spot anyhow. Next I'm going to paint a few areas on the altar, a bronze color using Balthazar Gold. I'm starting off with the orbs that the statues are holding. I'm also using this on the four symbols on the sides of the altar. I'm letting that dry before switching to Drakenhof Nightshade and I'm using this on all the areas that were just painted bronze. Next up are the vines. These are being painted with a one-to-one -one mix of Warpstone Glow and Caliban Green. The roses on the ground are being painted with Wild Rider Red. I started with this color on Chrono, so I'm going to keep it for consistency. Once the Wild Rider is dry, I'm mixing up some 2 to 1 yellow and Wild Rider red, and I'm putting a small dot in the center and then painting a circle around the inner ring of petals. Next is what I'd call an optional step, I'm going to add a bit of corrosion and color to the altar. First I'm using some Nylac Oxide on the bronze areas, just dabbing it in a few places and putting it where I think water and oxidation might build up the most. After that I'm using some Ethonian Camo Shade to create a moldy stone look. I'm splashing this on random stones on the base and I'm adding it to all the crevices and grooves where water might build up and cause mold to grow. The last step before adding a varnish is painting the rim of the base with the color of your choice. I'm going to go with German Grey. Once the paint is dried, I'm spraying all the models with a matte varnish, and my varnish of choice is Tester's Dull Coat. And that's the Divine Altars finished. Thank you very much to all my patrons for supporting these videos and a special thanks to Brian Jones for sponsoring the channel. If you're looking for more videos for Black Rose Wars, let me know in the comments and thanks for watching.